welcome back to the channel. so today, i can't believe it's already been a month, but it has. so today is going to be my first update for the um roulette pan collab project pan that i'm doing. ah if you haven't watched the last video i'll hopefully remember to link it down below as well as rebecca morgan and alexi's channels or videos for this project because they are the creators of this particular project. ah so this is on round seven at this point. this is the first round i participated in ah so we'll just get right into the progress. so the first round i ended up picking six numbers at random which i'll you know be doing again when i roll one out today uh but one of the categories was i forget the exact numbers but anyway it was supposed to be like the prompt i was working with was some type of lotion and the product i picked for that was this it is a moisturizer from the body shop it is called uh the seaweed oil control gel cream i chose this one which was already about i think one third of the way used up and the goal was just to finish it up unfortunately i have not yet finished it up but i have made some pretty good progress on it so as you can see i've kind of like hit pan on it if you can call it that uh, so you can see the bottom of the jar. I think I mentioned in my last, in like the first video in the series that I, I had about two thirds left. So now I would say I have about one third left. So if I keep going at the same rate, hopefully next month's update will be the one where this is completed. Um, so that is staying in. Another product I was working with, again, I don't remember the exact number, but it's one of the prompts was a Franken product. Um, so something that you've mixed together or created out of other products and I selected a highlighter that I Invented basically, which is this right here as you can see as well. There's no No pan my goal was to hit pan in this guy obviously to use it up would take way too long um, I have been using it, but it's just you know Far from hitting pan. So this will be staying in as well uh, next there was something from that's only available in your country and for that I chose the lipstick from this lip crown from Quo Beauty. Um, Quo Beauty is a brand here in Canada. So my goal was to hit, I'll see if I can get a nice close up for you guys. If you watch the first video, you'll see how much progress I've actually made on this, which is pretty substantial. Um, so my goal was just to finish the tip of the... Come on, camera. Was just to finish up the tip of this lipstick. Or lip crayon, whatever you want to call it. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, you guys. Are we going to get a focus? Here we go. So that's all the way rolled up, you guys. So it's hard to tell if I finished the tip of it or not. But if I roll it all the way down, that's all the way down. So it's basically there. I mean, technically, it's not the entire tip because you can still see a tiny bit there. However, because of the way I apply it, as you can see, it's like got quite a slant going on. So I feel like if I were to kind of like smush it down to make it flat, it totally would be the entire tip. So I think that counts. I'm going to count it. I feel like, yeah, if it was leveled off, it would totally be acceptable to say that that's the entire tip, um, which was my goal for this one. So I will be rolling this one out. Um, next is, well, there was actually one that I drew that was, sorry, this shirt kind of moves around. <laughs> um, so there was one that I drew that was a product that has really badly functioning packaging. And I picked one out of a big palette that I had. Anyway, long story short, I just could not stand, like I mentioned this in the video. I mean, the, the prompt obviously was saying that it was, um, you know, something with bad packaging. So it was kind of already a given that it was going to be annoying, but I just couldn't, I just couldn't. It was just so annoying. So what I ended up doing was I re I took 
I took the shades basically out of it, like I depotted a lot of them, repressed a lot of them into other palettes that I have, and I discarded that completely. So for that reason, that one is getting rolled out, not because I hit pan on it like I wanted to, but because I basically got rid of it. It was just way too annoying to use and I just didn't feel like I should suffer through that. So that one's another one that's getting rolled out. I'll be rolling in a new one. Um, and then next was something that has your, um, your favorite shade name. And I picked this little uh, mini perfume called Stella by Stella McCartney. Last time I was at about halfway. And as you can see this time, I'm about a, a little over a quarter of the way still to go. Um, so this will be staying in as well. I am surprised I didn't use it, use it up. I guess these little guys go a long way. Who knew? <laughs> I've, I've never really completely used up one of these. I just kind of rotated them in the past, but this one I used like every single time I wore perfume, it was this one. So yeah, I'm, I'm shocked that it's still in here, but it's staying in for the next month. And then the last one was something that is, um, kind of extra. I think that the prompt was like something that's for a special occasion or something like that. And I picked the Rimmel London Wonder Swipe two in one liner to shadow in this silver color. So if you watched the last video, I swatched it and everything, but basically it's like a glitter, glittery liner, but you can also kind of like diffuse it out into being basically like a glittery topper. Um, and because it's in a solid color, tube like I can't really see how much progress I've made so the goal had to be like basically to finish it and I have not yet finished it so it will be staying in the project as well this one was harder um I only used it maybe once or twice this whole month uh just because yeah it's like one of those things that's like really glittery it's really for like a special occasion which is the entire prompt but for that reason it's hard it's hard to use it on a regular basis especially if i'm just like going around like to the grocery store like i don't want to look that extra like at the grocery store you know so this one sadly will probably stay in for the entirety of the project so for the four months that this runs but that's okay because at least i finished up one of my items and to to the level that i wanted to and one of them i i kind of got rid of so i will be rolling in two new prompts um which I'm very excited to do. I have my the spreadsheet here with me, so I'm going to take my pretty random app and generate two new numbers. So I will do that on camera for you guys. So I've put the minimum number in as one, max 100, because there's 100 prompts, and let's just get into it. 64 and 21. So I'm going to pause this here look up those two prompts, decide what products I'm going to use for them. And then I will get back to you guys with my selections and explain why I chose them, et cetera, et cetera. So I will be right back. Okay. So I am back. Um, I looked up what my prompts were and I'm ready to share those with you. So the first one was 64, which was a cool toned item. So that gave me a lot to choose from. I have a lot of cool toned stuff, but I think what I've decided to do is use this Too Faced Chocolate Bar Original. Um, this shade right here, this uh, purpley bluey shade, um, I swatched it. I'm gonna swatch it again for you on camera. But this is a very old palette, so I do wanna use this up. But this is kind of a cool toned, it almost kind of pulls a little bit gray. There's some pink sparkles in it, which you probably can't see on camera, but it is overall like a cool toned shade for sure. Um, so that's going to be my cool toned selection for this month. And then number 21 was my other selection. Um, and that one was, um, something in your collection that you forgot you owned or you forgot about. This one was a little bit harder because I did just do like a couple of inventories recently. Um, so there wasn't really anything in my collection that I totally forgot that I owned. However, um, before I did the inventory, so this, this is going back maybe a month or two, um, I was decluttering my house just generally, and I came across something that I did forget I owned. I mean, this was, like I said, a couple months ago, so I, I remember now, but like, I'm still gonna include it because it was the, the only thing in my collection I could find that I had actually forgotten about like somewhat recently. And that was this, um, sugar lip treatment by it's like a one of those mini ones um from fresh and this <laughs> is really old again because i forgot about it for a long time 
um, but I thought since I'm rolling out a lip product, I'll roll in another lip product. And the goal for this one is to use it up. I actually love this stuff. I use it overnight to like sort of moisturize my lips. At night, I use it when I'm doing my makeup um, to like prime my lips before I put on a lipstick. And so for that reason, I don't have very much left. This is all the way rolled up. So as you can see, there's very little left in it. And because it's so old and it is like a cream product, I think it's really best if I get like use it up before it starts to go funky or smell funny. Like it still smells good. So I'm sure it's still fine, but I really would like to use it up in the next month or two because it is very old. Um, so if I roll it all the way down, you can see how much is already kind of used because um, it's way down there. So it is almost done. And I think I have a pretty good chance of finishing it up this month because I do use it like almost every single day. So those are the two that I'm adding in. Um, yeah, so that is it for this update video. I will be back in another month to share my progress with you. I'm feeling pretty confident. Like these two are definitely not gonna get rolled out next month cause there's just so much in them. But I'm feeling pretty confident about that lip, this thing. I'm feeling pretty confident about this perfume. Oh, my battery is running low. You probably heard that. Um, I'm feeling pretty confident about this perfume. I'm feeling pretty confident about this moisturizer. So I think we're going to see a lot of new stuff being rolled in next month. So, um, yeah, so I will see you guys in the next update and thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you like this type of content and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.